Hi there everyone, welcome to Shisha Creative. So today we are here at Yerkot again and uh, today's video is going to be about a terrarium and uh, it's going to be different so it's not going to be done in a glass bowl or anything like that. Everything is going to be done in a natural way with nature. So I'm going to take some of the dried coffee plants here, the roots of the coffee and then do the terrarium for you. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy it and even the plants I'm just going to collect it from whatever is available inside the estate. So first we are going to collect the moss. You can see that there is so much of moss here so we're going to collect the moss and uh, then we're going to go for a walk and collect plants also. So let's get started now. So now I am, I've actually started off on my long walk. We are going to get a lot of plants and moss and I forgot to bring, uh, you know, something sharp to take out the plants. The plants are rooted so well that I'm not able to, you know, pull it out. So I'm going to go back home and get it done. And as for the coffee uh, roots that we are going to collect, I'm just looking out if I can get any dried ones here. Uh, I did see a lot but to do the terrarium we need a flat one so I think I have a lot of work to do here but I'm definitely going to do this and show you all. It's so good to be here. It is uh, really refreshing. It's so cold and it's really good. So yeah there are a lot of plants uh, around but actually all the plants cannot be used for terrariums it is all weeds and all that so it's really difficult to pick out the strong ones here so that choosing for, for a terrarium is like uh, uh, it's a long process i think but i'm sure we're going to do it well so i'm going to show you around how the place looks This is a type of fern that we are going to take. So I found some moss here but it was really difficult so I got some help from the people around and uh, they could actually take it out really easy. So I got some good uh, sheet moss and a lot of ferns also. A lot of fern type plants are available but I don't know if this will stay till I go home. It's going to take another two hours before the walk is over. So should I pull this out or... Okay, let's just see though. It looks lovely. Yeah, this has come off easily so I'm going to take this fern and now let's continue with the walk. For the coffee roots, as you can see up there, those are the kind of coffee roots that we are going to take to do a terrarium today. 
and uh, usually doing a terrarium in a place like Yercord, I don't think we, we can keep it inside the house because there are, the climate is always wet and uh, it is never dry. So in a place like Chennai, I think we can have a lot of plants inside the house because it's a dry climate and uh, even if we water the plants, it uh, would evaporate uh, very fast. But in Yercord, it is not, you know, possible to keep the plants inside because the moisture content will always stay on the plants and uh, that will give out a lot of you know worms and uh, unwanted guests actually inside the house so usually we don't keep any plants here inside the house and uh, choosing the coffee uh, uh, twig is going to be really difficult because i'm not able to carry it here so i'm going to get some help from the people working here and uh, okay let's go and choose the place the coffee branch that where it is going to be done so this is in the month of september and uh, after the summer just after summer everything has started growing again and the place is looking really green and nice oh wow so this is the place where i grew up also this plant is of a different color but uh, i'm not sure if i should to take it out this is being stamped by something i think it's all gone okay let's see if we can find some more plants with different colors here rooted so well actually so I'm having a difficult time to take it but yeah of course it's gonna love me and it's gonna love the terrariums so here it goes I'm going to use this for the base and uh, keep the coffee uh, root on top of this. So now we are all set. The plants are all collected. The coffee uh, root is selected and we've got a base also. Uh, and that uh, base is actually from a silver oak tree. So the next what we're going to do is uh, use some twine because I don't have glue at the moment. So I'm going to use some twine and as the plants grow the twine will not be seen. It will look much better after a couple of months. So we're going to tie the root to the base and then set the moss, the ferns, everything together and then you know tie up all of it 
in a way that it looks beautiful and elegant. The idea behind doing this is uh, not just to while away time, but uh, we can make use of anything that is considered as a waste material. We can make use of it and uh, uh, you know really bring beauty and create something that is admired and bringing happiness through creativity. So I have set all the ferns and the moss that we collected in the morning. I have set everything on top of a coffee root here. It's a dry coffee root. So it's all set and all that needs to be done is spray some water every day. I'm sure this is going to come up really well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up in a windowsill nearby. I'm sure this is going to do really well. Like, share and subscribe if you like the videos. Bye bye.